Hey traders, quick market update, so let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, quick market update. Now let's have a look at uh, gold firstly. To the top left here we've got gold with the GLD, the, uh, the, the ETF that you can trade. You can actually see with gold, gold had an enormous, enormous move up, as you can see here, for almost 3% almost move to the high side. That's really interesting after the rate, obviously after the the Fed decided to not basically raise rates. Um, and it, it's really interesting because they said they're, they're not raising rates because they're concerned about the economy. Um, well, they should be concerned about the economy because obviously what's happening, but anyway. You can see um, that gold just absolutely just took off. Massive 3% upper. Um, I'm actually in silver myself. I'm actually in silver myself and had a really, really, really big spike to the high side. And you can see that in the last sort of, uh, sort of one, two, three, four hours didn't really do much. So um, yeah, so you can see what happened with, well, uh, with silver. Now we're looking at the hourly charts here, by the way, guys, the hourly charts. And bring that back to gold. So let's continue down through here. Now this is the S&P 500. You can see the S&P 500 had a, actually had a gap down. Actually had a gap down. And, and that was actually a couple of days ago. Then it went sideways. And as you can see, leading into today basically. And then it had this rate, this sort of jump through there. A, a spike up, came up to this sort of 2300 level. And you can see how it's sort of faltering at this level through here. You can see these bars coming down and coming down through here. Same with the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones had a big spike up. Uh, on the hourly chart and then suddenly we can see that the market sort of uh, came down and uh, it's sort of rejecting at this sort of 17,350 level. Uh, NASDAQ, NASDAQ is basically at its, its sort of struggling even though it, it had a, NASDAQ tried to obviously run to the high side too but you know it struggled and struggled and struggled. The um, looking at the Russell, the Russell was the one that really didn't do much. It was just really really sideways russell is not budging at all now it's really interesting really interesting that we actually look at the uh let's actually do this one here all right so it's really interesting that we say you look at the russell and let's actually go through these all right so yeah so we can see the t's uh, that's the advance of the climb line but I want to share something with you with the with the Russell. It's really interesting that with the Russell and the Dow Jones, we can actually see that the, the Dow Jones has obviously continued to raise just a little bit higher above this resistance level now. Just continue to rise up. We're getting the stochastics where we are right now. Uh, S and P 500, S and P 500 had a rally up. We're getting that possible divergence I've been talking about the last couple of days. So I believe this is going to roll over soon. Uh, but who knows? You know, I mean, this thing could just keep going up the way the Fed, but the way the Fed's trying to push this up higher, and uh, and it's really interesting, guys. The interesting thing is that if you look at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones was up uh, less than half percent, S and P up just over half percent, Russell up 0.7 percent, and uh, and the Na uh, and the Nasdaq up 0.7 percent. So even though apparently. Uh, apparently, you know, rate that everyone was watching for the rate announcement. The market didn't even do a one percent update. It's actually showing a lot of weakness in the market. But anyway, looking at the Russell guys, look at the Russell. The Russell is actually just struggling where it is right now. All this level through here, it's just struggling, struggling, struggling. And if you bring that to say the weekly chart, let's bring this over to the weekly chart. Forget the stochastics for a minute. But you can see this weekly chart once again. The Russell is the weakest out of the whole lot. Russell is going to get. Hammered, 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 hammered. You watch, it's just go straight down like that. Not up, but down like that. <laughs> you watch, Russell will get hammered. And you're looking at things like even like the events of the decline line as well too, like that's getting into an area right now where uh, I actually didn't expect it to go this high, but you know, you know, I have learned in the past that 
in the in in these vol in these in these uh, bear markets, so to speak, is that when you have big extended moves and then you have big and then you have big moves down as well too. So volatility picks up. I love it. And so so yeah, there we go, guys. So the Dow Jones really did, uh, once again, Dow Jones really didn't do much. The S and P uh, didn't really do much. I'm expecting um, a pullback soon, and maybe that's going to be the start on the unraveling because. It's really interesting. Let me actually show you something here, guys, I was watching, I was looking at. So let me bring up this weekly chart here. I want to bring up this weekly chart. Let me just blow this weekly chart up. This weekly chart is just a line chart, okay? So it's just a line chart of the, of the weekly. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And we can actually see that very, very, very clearly, very clearly on this uh, Industrial Average chart, we can actually see that this market made a clear lower low and if you look at this from a bigger picture perspective, it is actually very, very weak overall. And if you look at it from a bigger picture perspective, it actually looks very, very similar, very similar to what actually happened in 2008. Now, let me show you here. You can actually see here that the market ran up, made this head, a sh shoulder, head, shoulder, had a run down, bit of a double bottom, and then slowly crawled up right up into this area of this uh, this moving average slash this sort of resistance line through here. You see that? So, uh, now we can see that, and you can see that this, uh, you can see on this day here, right, we had this shoulder, this head, and now shoulder through here. It's had this double bottom, it's had this rally up through there. Now what comes next? That's what's coming next, in my point of view. That's what's now. It's not going to happen that quickly. <laughs> it might take a couple of it might take a couple of more months for that to happen. But um, yeah, that's that's basically what you see, right? You can actually just see it on the chart. It's very, very, very similar. Why? Because we get the once we get the head and shoulder formation, and we break this neckline, we run down and make like a bit of a double bottom or lower low. Then we run back up to create this to test this neckline through here, and then we have the drop. But this shoulder, head, shoulder came down. It actually broke this neckline, created that, created this double bottom formation, ran back up to this neckline right now. So what's coming next? Down we should go. So, but they're actually saying, they're actually saying that um, that that um, that this this crash is going to be a lot bit lot faster, a lot harder than the other one. So, and I'm expecting that too, only because of the, the the velocity of this move up. If I go to say our line chart. You can see the velocity in this move up. Uh, that to me only spells, you know, at least a move down to this sort of fourteen thousand level for me is a, is a target for me this year. On the Dow Jones, so that's that's the so that's the Dow Jones there. You can see on the on the S and P five hundred too. S and P five hundred is clearly clearly showing. Let me just take everything off the screen here. These these trend lines because we don't need to look at those. So same thing with the S and P five hundred, right? It's clearly showing. It's ver clearly showing. Uh, major weakness in the market. Why? Because if you have a look at this here, let's just call this up here and come down and run up, made the lower, lower peak, lower trough. What are we expecting here? We're expecting another lower peak here. And then guess what I believe is going to happen? Then then the acceleration move is going to start to happen. It's acceleration time, I believe, in the market. Acceleration time doesn't mean it's going to go down to 15,000 tomorrow, you numbnucks. Um, <laughs> it just means that we're going to start to get, get a lot more heaviness on the downside, I believe. Okay, so moving on now to the Russell. Russell is the one that I've always said that is the weakest out of the whole lot of them. Uh, once again, looking at the Russell, what do we see? We see uh, we actually didn't even, we actually didn't even get a head and shoulder formation here. Uh, oh, we sort of did, right? This is sort of like the left hit, like head here, left shoulder here, and then we had this right shoulder here, came all the way down through here, had a bit of a move up, and then we had this woof, look at that, just wham, thank you, ma'am, right? And then up here, we had this sort of left shoulder here, big left shoulder, big head, little right shoulder, bam, comes all the way down, comes all the way back up to these levels through here, and now it's starting to do this right now. So, guys, if you tell me that's bullish, I'll turn into a monkey. Guess what? I'm not turning into a monkey. It's not bullish. <laughs> and the uh, and looking at the Nasdaq, the Nasdaq is really, really, really weak as well too. Now the thing is, guys, is this. And as I was saying before, in the reason why I'm very bearish on this market overall long term is because 
the bigger picture generally will start to tell you what is going on in the markets uh, even before the fundamentals do, okay? So what I mean by that is this, is that this whole time up, we've had this nice higher troughs and major higher swings, as you can see on this line chart, and we've had this must swing up, and we can see that this overall continued move up, maybe even a little bit through there as well too, and then a run up through there, come down through there, bit of a double top or almost lower, a lower peak, and then come down lower trough, and now we're creating here. Look at that, look at that here, though. look at this here guys. The longer term chart has continued to push these highs up, especially above, what do you see that? Above the moving average on this chart, especially this chart, right, you can really see it. And once it starts to, once it starts, now it's been testing it, testing it, testing it, it's had problems breaking below it and creating a lot of white space, meaning you can see that like it, it actually broke below it, but it hung around it there. It broke below it, but it hung around it there. This one broke below it, but guess what now? What do we actually see? We actually see that there's a lot of white space, meaning the market has created a lot of white space through here before it runs back up and then trying to turn over. So to me, guys, this is once again like that. And then, um, and especially the NASDAQ, guys, I'm very, 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 I think NASDAQ has the 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 largest four to move. So those those big stocks like Apple and Google and stuff like that, you watch, They're, especially Apple. Apple is very, very, very weak. I'll, do that and I'll, I'll analyze that in another video. But looking at the monthly chart, the reason why I say that is because the vertical move on the upside through here has been so astronomical, so so hard and so fast that when this thing starts to unravel, guess what? This thing, when this thing starts to unravel through here, we've got a little support through here, and then guess what? The next major support is down here at two thousand six hundred on the on the on the uh, on the Nasdaq. Now, guess what? When you're looking at that, we're talking about a forty percent drop. And that will start to happen on the NASDAQ. These, the NASDAQ is higher than it was in the, in the tech bubble over here. That, it, it's, actually, it's actually at its levels right now where it was in this, in this tech bubble and in the tech bust. So looking at all these charts, guys, you can really see what's going on there. And the last chart I want to remind you guys that I've been watching for so long and such a long time is this weekly chart, Advancer Decliner Line. So this advance of the advance of the decline line weekly chart has been telling me all along that no matter what happens in this market, we are going down. Okay, and and it's really really simple as this is that is that you can see here that in two, late two thousand and seven we started across below it. We started creating major instead of creating like these like higher troughs and higher troughs. We started creating lower peaks and lower troughs underneath it. You see here, instead of creating these higher peaks and higher troughs, we've started creating these lower peaks and lower troughs underneath the moving average, and then went down. It crossed, it crossed in 2009, and wham! We had a little pullback here, and a little pullback here, and a little pullback there, and, and almost a pullback there, and bam! Broke down through there, went sideways for a while, came back down, cut, cut, and it's come back up. Overall, we had this big head and shoulder formation on the overall advanced decline line chart, guys. We can see that little resistance line through there as well, too. Guys, to me, once again, this is very, very, very bearish. You watch you watch this gonna happen, guys. Over the next couple of months, it's acceleration time in the market. Hey, it's John Hal here, and thanks so much for watching my video. You see, I'm putting out daily videos and education on helping you learning the art of successful trading. So click on the subscribe button to keep up to date with every video I do. Also, check out my story video, $250,000 in debt, cancer, overweight, family passing away, lived on the streets, and more, and how I overcome it and, on, and now thriving through my life. This is here to motivate you, so click on that image to watch my video. And lastly, if you're struggling with your trading, then you need to see my latest webinar where I'm sharing with you an amazing strategy that allows you to generate an income without getting the direction right. So click on that image on this page to register for my next free webinar. This is John Howell here. Remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.